Still talking tributes, actor Charles Sinoje, a close associate and colleague of Mr. Ibo, described his legacy as one that is irreplaceable as he, amongst a few veteran actors, changed the face of comedy in Nollywood. In an exclusive interview with Entertainment News and Channel's Television on Sunday, Inoje, who has collaborated with Mr. Ibo on many projects, including The Great Servant, The Deceiver, Mentors and Cantors, amongst many others, says the demise of John Okafo, better known as Mr. Ibo, is an irreparable loss. Don't do this. Don't do this to me, Chief. Please. Please. I'm the best great man you can ever think of. If I open my eyes and you are still standing there, okay. Okay, is it because of the small sleep I slept on the gate? John Okafor, popularly known as Mr. Ibu, found fame with slapstick comedy within the Nigerian movie is it space. Because, is it because of your gate? That you're doing the, are you the only one that has gates in this, in this town? His moniker, Mr. Ibu, is earned from one of the campy characters he's played. But new one. Yeah, I put a new one. New? Yes. And put it. Mm -hmm. Yet not played. Yes. So why do you bring it? Ah, ah. Don't you repair turntables here? Yeah? We repair, but we don't repair machine gun, a cake, raffle, Mac 4. Uh -huh. Do you know when this thing was made? 1902. While he has credits from over 200 movies, one of his regular collaborators is comic actor Charles Inogie, with whom he has shared credits and screen time over multiple projects. Huh? You don't even want to take something to make your head. What is that one of you? Money me and you don't get. You don't get respect yourself. And obviously distraught, Inoje describes his late colleague and friend as one who cannot be spoken exhaustively about. That place, we, we, we got scared at the one we first get. Now, listen to me, you first start, be. One night I will not get. Even me. Oh my, you really, really. Come on, not get to maintain that girl. Famous mostly for his mannerism and clumsiness, the late Okafo interpreted his roles with exceptional precision, even if most of the times the characters are usually a typecast. Uh, there is sometimes you lose someone in an industry, say, well, uh, so so and so person would uh, 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 replace him. John, Mr. Ibu is irreplaceable. Mr. Ibu speaks with every part of his body. He's probably one. I don't know how many they are in Africa today that would just sit here and without saying anything would communicate a million messages with his facial expressions, uh, body language, with gestures, without verbalizing just one word of dramatic dialogue. That doesn't come cheap. That doesn't come cheap. And we are, we are going to miss that. We are, we are, we are going to miss that. You know, the effervescence of his persona. John, no. You find, you, you bring a script and it looks trite. But you can be sure that once you have John on that set, somehow, somehow, you're going to make a blockbuster out of it. Because uh, one thing I enjoyed the most about the movies we... Uh, we we paired in was that no matter how where you throw him outside the script, John is waiting for you at the next bus stop. He knows what, where you are going to. You know, it's like playing football, and you in the course of dribbling, you 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 trick a defender, and whereas he expects that you are taking the ball to your left, you you, you move right. And you think you have you have swayed John, no? Right in front of you, he's there with the kind of response that will even catch you flat-footed. Uh, his sense of spontaneity uh, was first class, uh, perhaps unraveled. Uh, not many people get him. Not many people get him. You know what's happening? Dog with the vest. You don't see my dad, we don't tell him. No, he bite us. We go for some way, we go fight. Now only church. We will feel go fine, we will feel sleep. It's better than going to police. You want to go to police? Go find church. You want to carry your bag, enter inside church. You'll be a member. They want to be a member. If you enter church like this, sit down like this, before they pray, pray, finish, begin, sing. So when you don't sing, finish, you don't pray, finish, they never close again. You talk to somebody, they don't do you not doing. Talk to who? Let me tell you, for instance, church, all this department will go for here. It's the church.
His on-screen legacy remains that of an exceptional talent with huge fan base across the continent. However, off-screen, not much is known about his private life until recently when his ailment started. Inoje, however, knew him beyond the camera lenses and he helped us to understand the kind of a person he was off-camera. Uh, John, a refrigerator technician, that's the work he learned uh, before uh, Providence uh, struck the uh, gold for him and he became a, a, perhaps Africa's most proficient, most prolific uh, uh, comic actor. Uh, John Okafor was also a black belter, for those who know about uh, karate and taekwondo. As he did, what well, would be like, uh, water with the uh, line where they put water. So if you go try him, John will break all your bones. Uh, very strong man, very strong man. And that strength uh, of character was uh, displayed in his dying day, you know, and on, on his sick bed, each time I go to see him, I saw a man that was literally wrestling with death and telling death that, hey guy, you see this one, I go win you. And that was his staying power. It's unfortunate that just when we thought he had actually won the battle, uh, death snaked him from uh, behind and against the rules, uh, snuffed life out of him. He also expects that his legacy and influence will go beyond his life and times to join those of other screen comedy greats even before him, including Sam Lokoefe, Nkem Owo and others. John was a great guy, was a great guy. When I uh, left the university and joined the industry in 2000, he was one of the very first persons I encountered uh, as, a, as, as a newcomer, so to speak. Uh, then he was not majorly into uh, acting. Yeah, he was doing pockets of acting here and there, but majorly he was a production manager. And I cannot forget, you know, uh, when I came in, uh, it probably, between the both of us, it was love at, at first sight. Uh, at the time, I, 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 I didn't know I would end up uh, being an actor. Uh, I came in as a scriptwriter, as assistant director at the time. Uh, I was majorly behind the camera. I, I didn't know I was going to, you know, at some point become prominent in front of the camera. So, uh, as uh, an extra, the one we call a uh, wakapas, each time I have the privilege of being in a production uh, managed by uh, John O'Carfor, it was always a different kind of experience uh, because when it comes to uh, sharing food, uh, unfortunately at the time, uh, extras, nobody to send us that year. Mm -hmm. Now when food remain, now he go reach us. Uh, but John would always tell me, hey, Oshari, don't worry yourself, oh, just calm down, your own packaging. <laughs> that would mean uh, somehow, somehow, he would make sure that I got food. Somehow, he would ensure that uh, mine was uh, somehow different, uh, which he called the uh, packaging. Instead of bringing an, bringing ugly children to come and suffer into this world, I remain unmarried. Even though he had a smile on his face, it is still evident from his speech that the late actor Mr. Ibu will be greatly missed by his friend and fellow actor Charles Inoje. Papa, if you don't know it, know it that you are ugly. Very, very ugly, and that is why all of us we produce are looking like those people.